Haley Powers, and I am a guitarist out of Nashville, Tennessee. One of my biggest influences was my dad. He really just kind of took me alongside and first gave me a mandolin to start playing. I started playing in my family's bluegrass band and I had a bowl cut, I was very cool. Um, and from there, he started teaching me electric guitar and I got to play in some of his different bands with him and then just slowly started just falling in love with playing. I think the thing that I love most about playing guitar is it's honestly just very fun. I really like the aspect of playing along with other people. I think it's just this interesting combination of something that's really creative and you're also kind of having to work on your skills as you're playing. It's very conversational and honestly people just get so excited about live music. So I think it's just the most fun hobby you can take up. Some of the women I think that are killing it right now um, are a lot of the Nashville-based women that I've gotten to either play with or gotten to see playing. Um, Annie Clements is an amazing bassist. Uh, Shannon Lauren Callahan is really an awesome guitarist. Leilani Kilgore, Jax Hollow. There's all these girls, you know, that I have gotten to play with that just shred and are really inspiring to me. A lot of the bands that I initially was getting chosen for were women specific opportunities. So being in those, you know, a lot of them, just the energy of it and then seeing those women go on and take these bigger opportunities is really inspiring because you think, okay, I can do that as well. You know, there's nothing that special about this person that I couldn't eventually do. I actually started blogging because I wanted to inspire other females initially to play guitar. I knew that I had had a lot of people come alongside me and help me get better at electric. I initially wasn't even planning on doing guitar myself. I was planning on just being completely, you know, online, not really getting into it and started getting opportunities actually from that. So I think it's really important if you do have a social media platform to be really real and be encouraged and not make it feel like there's this barrier to entry for music, but make it something that you're genuinely giving to people that are following you and making it this thing that when someone opens their phone and scrolls past your post, instead of thinking like, oh gosh, they're so good, I can never do that, make it be something that's like, here's some inspiration, you can completely do that and making it something that's all about learning and making it fun. Any women that are just starting out in the music industry, I think my biggest piece of advice is don't get intimidated and just go for it. I think it's really easy to think if I just get a little bit better or have another piece of gear or have this next kind of accomplishment under my belt, then I can go for this next opportunity. But really, if you just go for those, you're gonna just learn on the job. So I would say just jump into it and find people that build you up, make it fun for yourself. If you feel like you're constantly dreading opportunities and things make you nervous, you don't have to do those. So just go in a different direction and seek what you enjoy and is fun. A lot of my choosing gear is kind of trial and error. I buy a lot of just used gear and try it out and see if I like it. And so when I got my first Vox amp, I actually stole it from my husband. He got it and I was like, this is amazing. You know, it has that classic sound, that classic look. I slowly just took it as my own and now it's my favorite amp I use. <laughs> After taking it to a lot of gigs, it had the best sound out of anything I was using, but it was also pretty heavy. Now having the AC-10, it has that amazing sound that Vox is known for, breaks up really easily. It's also very light for me, which looking at me, you know I'm not all muscle, so it's honestly the perfect amp for me. I think what I really like about the AC-10 is it is very versatile. It has that amazing sound and it gets really loud for such a small amp, but getting to play with a lot of different artists in Nashville, it's important to have an amp that can change sounds really easily. So the AC-10 honestly fits any style that you can play.
Coming up soon, I am going to be releasing my first ever song, which I'm very excited about. Me and my sister have a band, The Rivalry. You can find us at We Are The Rivalry for our Instagram handle. We're going to be releasing this song on Spotify, and it's just going to be a pretty stripped down acoustic song. We have some electric in there as well, but you can check that out on March 3rd. So you can find that either on my band Instagram, the links to that, or my Instagram, which is Haley Powers Music. This year, some of my biggest focuses are going to be continuing to do a lot of online content, doing YouTube and online courses and Instagram stuff, and then also focusing on my sister and I's band, The Rivalry. So in addition to releasing our song this March 2023, we're also hoping to do a Central Coast California tour at the end of 2023 and just get to play all of our new music there.